Oh, there we go. We out here on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, what the fuck is today's date? I don't fucking know. It's on Thor's Day. Thanksgiving's always on Thor's Day, ain't it? Yep. Every year. It's a feast to the gods of the, the Norse, the Norse pantheon. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Look at these weirdos. Shit, I don't give a fuck. Uh, oh, fuck my glasses. Will you hold this for a second, bro? Uh, I gotta put my garment on. I say we read, uh, I say we read First John. Who? First John. Once you got, that sounds good to me. We ain't read that in a minute. Oh, yeah. First John 2. Let's start the second chapter. Uh, not people choose, but... Did we? Yeah. First John 2. Yeah, I've been wanting to read that out here for a minute. First John started to talk. Yeah. First, first John 2. Yeah. Oh, first John. I'm tripping. Oh yeah, first John, yeah. I'm tripping. Everybody's ready. Yeah. So many Johns in there. First John 2. We read St. John. Yeah. First John 2 and 1. Um my my little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Oh, what's a sin though? A sin ain't just something you could just make up, be like, oh, that's a sin. Like, you guys are using cuss words like shit and fuck, that's a sin. That's not a sin. A sin is the laws written in the, the, what they call the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. In all the laws, this in the Psalms and all the other books. Like not eating pork. Okay, that's a sin. All right, uh, being a faggot, that's a sin. Having sex with your mother and sister, that's a sin. Having sex with a beast, engaging in bestiality, that's a sin. Uh, not keeping a Sabbath, that's a sin. They don't keep no Sabbaths in America. They so they all sinning. When it was Sabbath this Friday, Sunday on Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, well. I may be wrong. Well, plus, well, plus they never, uh, they don't keep any kind of Sabbath. America, this country runs 24-7, non-stop. The restaurants, McDonald's, Burger King, White Castle, uh, Walmart, Target, all these stores are open 24, not 24-7, but they're open seven days a week, every day, mm -hmm. non-stop. Mm -hmm. Like it makes a difference if they close at five or six on Sunday. And yeah, and the laws in the Old Testament say if you don't keep the Sabbath, you get put to death. Now it's punishable. Working on the Sabbath is punishable by death. Oh, go ahead. Okay. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yahweh Shai the righteous, and he is the pro, pro the pro, pro propitiator. Yeah. Is that how you and say? he is the propitiator for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. We know you, when that world, we know that's talking about Israel, the all of Israel that scattered among the whole earth. Because Israel scattered among the whole, the whole earth. We know it ain't talking about Esau, because the Bible says Esau is going to be totally destroyed. That's right. Um, and hereby, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. There you go, you gotta keep the commandments of the, the most high, it's in the, the people don't wanna keep the commandments. They don't know what the commandments are. You got a lot of people, they say they believe in this book, but when you read the commandments to them, then all of a sudden they got a problem with you and they got a problem with this book. And then we'll say we're false prophets because we read the Bible. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So fuck, fuck them, man. I'm gonna go through some of this before I go back to that. Like you were saying earlier, well, people know we don't eat pork, but they still keep keep trying to offer you pork. Mm -hmm. They just keep eating pork. 
they claim they believe in the Bible, but they still keep it pork, eating pork, even though you told them and showed them the scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna run through this real quick, Exodus 20. Y'all go ahead. And the Most High spake, and Yahweh shall I spake, all these words saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the, la out of the house of bondage. Well, Egypt is the house of bondage. So, and America is also the house of bondage, because now America is spiritually known as Egypt. That's why you have an Egyptian pyramid on the back of a dollar bill. You know what I mean? I mean, you, that's right there in front of your face. You got to use those dollar bills every day. And every day you got to look at that goddamn pyramid. You mm. can't escape mm. with that motherfucker mm. all seeing eye just staring at your ass. Mm. 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 Thou shalt have no other gods before me. No other gods before you. But yeah, well, that's why all the popular holidays in America, they're all based upon ancient pagan holidays like Christmas, goes back to the worshiping of the winter solstice plus the rising of the sun. Easter goes back to the to the uh, the equinox and the worshiping of the uh, goddess of fertility. Like we saying Thanksgiving is always held on a Thursday. Which that might be, because Thursday is actually Thor's day, the thunder god, the Norse god. So there's probably some connection right there, you know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ain't no coincidences. Mm -hmm. Thou shall not make unto thee any uh, yeah, graven image. Yeah, because why, why are the days of the week, why are they named after pagan gods? If this is a so-called Christian nation, how come Wednesday at, literally means Woden's day or Odin's day? And how come Thursday is Thor's day? And you're going to tell me that this is a Christian nation. That doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> Sunday's the day to sun. Monday's the day to moon. Why you got a day named after the damn sun? Many gods. The Saturn's day. Saturday. And Sa Saturn is the god of uh, excess like Saturnalia. The holiday of Christmas. Back in the ancient world, during this period of time, they used to celebrate for two weeks straight. Or something like that. It, it varied. But they had a holiday called Saturnalia where all they did was party, get drunk, you know what I'm saying? Rape each just, other just, in the butt. Right. Just like today, everybody crack open the eggnog, they put put on the Christmas music, they party, everybody got time off of work. They party, that goes back to Saturnalia. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's why people always go out to party on Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? Giving homage to Saturn. Right. Thou shalt make, not make in unto thee any graven images, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You had no graven images. But you go up in a Catholic church, you see nothing but graven images. They got Queen of Heaven statues, Mary Guadalupe. They got more Mary Guadalupe's than Caesar uh, Borgere statues. Then they got Cesar Borgere statues everywhere. They got a Moses statue with horns coming out of his head. They got an obelisk over there in, was that, St. Peter Square up in, you know, the Vatican. They got that giant obelisk, Egyptian obelisk in the Vatican. What the, the fuck does that got to do with the Bible? Yeah, it looks like a penis coming out of a pussy. Yeah, the way it's they a, got it designed. It's just a big dick. Yeah. A sundial. Keep going. Okay, um. Okay, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of thy Lord, thy power, in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. May the Lord's name is Yahweh. Okay, the Lord's name ain't Yahweh. The Lord's name ain't Lord. Oh, well, people say, oh, if we say God damn it. If I stub my tongue and say God damn it, they say I took the Lord's name in vain. Name that's, name. that's not the Lord's name. I'll keep going. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Okay, remember the Sabbath. There is no Sabbath in America. Stores there for seven days a week. That which proves this is a land of slavery, the, the house of bondage. Just like ancient Egypt was. Keep going. I guarantee they didn't have no Sabbath in ancient Egypt. They was working the hell out of the Israelite slaves. Mm, mm, mm. Keep going. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy power. 
sinneth, thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maidservant, manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them is, and rested the seventh day. Ain't no rest out here. That scripture said this is not your rest. You ain't getting no rest out here. You going? Hey, you know them prisons and those, uh, the county jails and shit yeah. open 24 hours too. Oh, well, the prison system, that that's just, that's just free slave labor for them. You know? Because the government, most people's in prison for drugs. And your boy, uh, what's his boy, Rick Ross, has been on Alex Jones. Oh. He, he one of the biggest drug dealers of, in history. Mm. And he spilled the beans. And he tell you the CIA is the one to supply all the cocaine. So when the government come through, they, they supply the cocaine. That's why you got Marines in Afghanistan guarding poppy fields. So that they, the, the government supplies all the drugs. They get you to sell it. And then they lock your ass up, put you in prison, and get free free slave labor out of you. And a lot of these prisons are owned by private uh, corporations, not the government. Only a devil. Only a devil. And Obama just sent more troops to Afghanistan. That's good, too. Man. Yeah. I hope they get blown up. You know, you know. More open or whatever comes here, the better. Oh, right? yeah. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. Oh, there's a scripture in, uh, was that Leviticus 20? It says, who whoever is a 20 and this is 20 something whoever curses his father or mother must be put to death you know, um, these little bastard children out here need put to death you know what i'm saying these little disrespectful bastards uh, back talking their parents the scriptures say they're supposed to get put to death okay. that thy days may be long upon the land which the lord thy power giveth thee thou shalt not kill thou shalt not commit adultery oh adultery don't that's why the Lord said it's a wicked and adulterous generation. There ain't nothing but adultery out here. Every last song on the radio is about adultery. Every movie you watch is all about adultery. Every woman you see walking down the streets is adulterous. Keep going. Mm. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Huh. Yeah, that's a, Ooh, these motherfuckers can't, can't wait to fuck your girl, Ooh, man. can't wait. They can't wait. <laughs> Wicked. Nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Uh, you can't, if you live in the hood, you can't have shit. If you, so you get a new car with a nice system, don't be bumping that system loud up in the hood because they like, oh, he got some nice shit. Follow you me. wake up in the morning, your shit's gone. Yeah, they'll follow you where you live. It will be gone. Yeah. I've seen it time and time again. That's right. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet. The, the noise. That was it on all thunder. that. Keep though. reading the rest of it. Yeah, and yeah. the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. Yeah, that pe the smoking, that was the Lord came down on that chariot, a so-called UFO. And he landed on Mount Sinai. That's why all that great smoke and the fire, that's coming from his chariot. Because mm. the most like, people are like, well, God doesn't need to fly around in the chariot. He can do what the fuck he wants to do. <laughs> if he right. want to fly around in the chariot, he'll fly around in the chariot. Right. You know what I mean? Because they tell you the angels... That's where you so-called UFOs. That's a chariot to the Most High. That's right. People ball up in that UFOlogist talking about fallen angels and reptilians and shit. Ain't no goddamn reptilians flying around. Mm -hmm. And they said unto Moses, "Speak with, speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not the Most High speak with us, lest we die." Yeah, and that's Most High actually. That the Most High's voice is so powerful. It would terrify the shit out of you. Yeah, but I go back to the reptilians. The only reptilians on the planet is the so-called Jew. That's the reptilian. That's the serpent. He's not an actual reptilian, but he's a serpent and a snake. Uh, go, we can go back to that, John. Yeah, I'm back there now. And hereby we, I'm back at John 2 and 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him. Say, so, yeah, because... What they said, there's like 613 commandments in the Bible. He just read the 10 commandments, but there's more commandments than that. 
like, uh, the people are like, well, all you got to follow is the Ten Commandments. Well, y'all ain't even keeping that. You ain't keeping the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? Most of you motherfuckers living in adultery. Uh, but then they say, oh, all we got to do is keep the Ten Commandments. Well, but there's other scriptures that say you can't have sex with your mother, your brother, your sister. You can't have sex with animals. So if they say the only commandments you got to follow is the Ten Commandments, they say it's okay to have sex with a horse. Oof. So that's stupid. That's retarded. Mm. Uh, mm. Keep going. Mm. 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 He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. So he's a liar. If somebody says it's okay to eat pork, you're a liar. And you deserve to get punched in your face. And the truth is not in him. You got no truth. None. <laughs> hey, that's a good scripture. Uh, what was that first? Uh, was that first John two or something? Um, yeah, that's first John two and. Um, read that in part. Read um, that again. He said, "Who does not what?" That's a good scripture, man. Yeah. Um. Uh, that's first John two and four. He that said, "I know him." I know. He's like, I, I know Jesus. I read my Bible all the time. Keep going. And keepeth not his commandments. Like yeah, eating pork is a liar. Oh, we're gonna stand and eat pork too. That's foul, man. You defile your whole body when you eat pork. That's a big deal. Eating catfish and uh, mm, eating mm, shrimp mm, and mm. eating goddamn lobsters. Mm, mm, mm. Is a liar and the truth is not in him. So yes, yeah, so there ain't no truth in nobody saying, if you ain't gotta keep the commandments, you got no truth in you. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, it's good for you. Read up. Proverbs chapter. Read it out loud. My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. For the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Yeah, cause, right. Cause if you don't, if you say you keep eating pork, guess what? That shit causes high blood pressure. You're gonna catch. A, you're gonna have a heart attack and drop dead. And the, the scientists. Scientists, yeah, everybody wants to talk about science. Scientists came out and said, uh, eat, eating pork lowers your sperm count. Read Ooh. that again. Mm. My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. For the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck write them upon the table of thine heart so thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. Yeah, lean not unto thy, your own understanding. Everybody got their own understanding. It's the understanding of what this book says. You know what I'm saying? They claim they believe in the Bible. Once you keep, then they'll be like, well, that's just the book. This is the book. I gotta listen to that book. Look, he just retarded. You're a reprobate. They believe whatever the pastor tells them. Yeah. You're not understanding why the Lord Most High put these laws on us. There's a reason why. It's for your benefit. Yep. And, uh, just to make it clear, too, that don't make you righteous. Because the law can't save you. You don't get saved by keeping the law, but we keep the law because the law is good. That's right, good. You know what I'm saying? Benefits. Right, right. Because if you keep eating pork, you know that it clogs up your colon too. Eating all that pork, mm. your body can't properly digest it. Constipation. You see, yeah, you get constipated. Then you ended up walking around with rotten swine's flesh, just chilling in your intestines for, <laughs> for months, years, Ooh. possibly. And then, but they don't mm. just eat it once a week. They eat it every day. Yeah. Oh, so, so you got a lot of people that walk, especially a lot of these fat people, that eat pork all the time. They walking around with like 20 pounds of, of rotten meat and swine's flesh. Just, worms. And, yeah, worms all stuck up inside their intestines. Mm -hmm. That shit, after it backs up, it becomes yeah. toxic. Cause, yeah, and your body becomes acidic because you got all this, this shit stuck that you can't shit it out. You become, you can't, everything, you know what I mean? It just stays in you. So that's why it's gross, man, to get with a big old fat girl. And have, have, I can't, Trying to have 
make say make love. He tried to have sex with a big old fat girl. Make a sweet love. You, you essentially hump, you 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 humping a pile of turds. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right. All the undigested swine's flesh up in there. <laughs> some nasty it, shit. It'd be stinking. I mean, really, man, having sex with a fat bitch is some nasty shit, man. Oh man. You know. That's some nasty shit. <laughs> Dad, you so nut hungry, boy. You wanna fucking nut? Shit. I mean, if you get a bitch, you gotta get if you get with a woman, you, you can't be with a woman who eats swine's flesh. Yeah. You get with eat pork. You can't do that, man. Oh. If, if you got a girlfriend or or if she wants to eat swine's flesh, you can't deal with her, man, period. I would not recommend it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you, you lay with her, you become one with her. You know what I mean? That's what the scriptures say. You lay with a woman, you become one with her. So you become a one with swine's flesh. You become defiled. Yeah, you, you defile yourself when you do that. Oh, go ahead. These are, is more to that? But that was the point. Proverbs, Let me get, you can read this. All oh, well, let's get back to the book of John. Hold on, I got a precept. Oh, you got a precept? That was a good scripture, though. Yeah, um, this is uh, Luke uh, 6 and, um, hold on, let me start at 45. A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man, out of the evil treasures of his heart, bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Yeah, because people, they, all, they always speak out their heart instead of, they, they always lean into their own understanding, like that scripture of Proverbs says. And their un un own understanding is the foolishness. Keep going. The heart, his mouth speaketh, and why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Right, because the Lord said, don't eat pork. He said, uh, he said, keep the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? He said, don't have sex with animals. Don't commit adultery. You know what I mean? There's all kind of commandments in the Bible. Don't steal, and which that's one. Don't steal. That's that's Israel's favorite thing. Jack and his brother. They're running schemes on people. Cutthroats. Yep. Mm. Scandalous. Scandalous. It's the land of the scandalous. <laughs> right. <laughs> no exaggerating. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them. I will show you to whom he is like. All right, right. So we're supposed to keep the Passover too. That's the commandment. Mm -hmm. That's the best. You were talking about holidays. Well, a holy day. The, the biggest holy day is supposed to be the Passover. That's supposed to be like a sacred event. But people, they, they, for them, the biggest feast day of the year is uh, Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Or Christmas. But they look at you like you're stupid when you keep the Passover. But that's the thing that's actually in the Bible. And, and on the Passover, you get to drink wine. What, what other holiday you know where it's like commanded that you get some wine? Right, right, right. Yeah, get you some. Because the Lord at the Last Supper, at the Last Supper, they was having the Passover meal at the Last Supper, and all the disciples were drinking wine. They was drinking some good wine, too. And it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and they was kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Bringing out scriptures, kicking the truth right. amongst each other. That's what, what other what better holy day is that? Where you can sit back, drink some wine, eat some lamb, some unleavened bread, some bitter herbs. Mm. But nope, they'd rather eat that swine's flesh on Christmas and Thanksgiving. Spiritual day, man. Go, eat some chitlins. Go eat some uh, what's that? The pig toes and pig's feet. Yeah. They act. They it's actually sell money. fucking pig's feet. Goddamn pickled pig's feet. Yep. You go in the hood, at every hood grocery store, they got pickled pig's feet. In a big ass jar. It, in a big ass jar. It don't come with little jars, no, big right. ass jar. <laughs> but who this actually went <laughs> on some goddamn pig feet? That's what what disgusting. The fuck? Cause pig feet say nothing but fat. It's nothing but fat. That don't even make no yep. sense. It's fat. Ugh. Who the fuck in their right mind would eat that shit, uh, man? Food. And then they make, they actually figure out a way to eat the pig's intestines. Yep. They take the pig's shit tubes, had shit all up in it, took all the dookie out, mm -hmm. so-called cleaned it, and that, mm -hmm. they, they cook mm -hmm. what they call it, chitlins. And then all the sausages you eat, all the sausages have the outside layer on it, the little skin. That That's a pig intestines. They take the pig's intestines, 
when people say I don't eat chitlins, I like sausage though. Well, you still eating chitlins because all the sausage meat is packed inside with pick intestine. And that's how they wrap it up. What they call casing? Yeah, casing my ass. Yeah, that <laughs> shit casing. Right, right. Literally. Yeah. He is like a man which built in house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon the house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. Right, so what we're teaching, we're, this is, we're founded upon a rock. So we ain't gonna get blown away. You know, we ain't gonna get washed away with the ocean. Cause a lot of you fools out there, you ain't teaching the truth the right way. And that's why you gonna get washed away. You get swept out to the ocean, you're gonna drown. Yeah. You know, drop dead. That's why right, because most high refer to them devils when they come down with their wrath. They you describe them as a great flood. Yeah, it is yeah, right. That's that, bad that's when a, you mention that water. That's, that's a good scripture. Yeah. The great flood. Yeah, that great flood gonna come through, y'all gonna get washed washed away in that's a tidal right. wave. Yeah. Yeah. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation building house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great. Oh yeah, so, so we all just watching the videos on YouTube, you just so-called by random you found our channel. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You watched our videos. You, you got marked. That's what happened. <laughs> you got marked. Because you didn't just randomly find our videos. The spirit took your black ass here. Yep. Your simple ass. I mean. Black. Yep. And in darkness. <laughs> yeah, I always get that. Motherfuckers be on my channel. Or uh, on our channel. You know, I got all kind of channels. Uh, but they, they'll come to our channel. And they be like, I don't know how the hell I got to. <laughs> they be like, I don't know how the hell I ended up here. Right, right. And I actually seen a comment like that too. Yeah, that's all the time they say. Yep. They're like, how the hell did I end up here? <laughs> yeah. Like watching this shit. <laughs> but well, you here and you watching it and you heard right. it. That's right. So when you hear it, that's your ass. <laughs> that's right. That's beautiful too. Well, that's, yeah, that cracks me up, man. That's I, my favorite shit to read is them comments, man. I love when I usually when I watch any video on YouTube, I usually just go straight to the comments. Yep, 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 yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Expe especially in news videos and controversial videos, are straight to the comments. Straight to the comments. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, I seen this one dude's YouTube username. He was trolling our channel. Uh, I don't know if he's a troll. I get people mixed up though. There's so many people coming on our videos. The his the name of his YouTube username was I'm just here for the comments. Damn. <laughs> That's funny. Because the top, the con you just. Cause you, the comic board got all kind of truth in it. Yeah. Like RT. Yeah. You get I that. You get news from the video. You go down to the comments and get more news. Mm -hmm. People be giving you links. This is the greatest thing ever, man. It sure is. It sure is. Um. Back to John two. Um. This thirty five. But whoso keep it. His word in him verily is the love of the most high perfect. The love of the most high is perfect. Who keeps his, his word? What is his word? This whole book is full of words. You know what I'm saying? This is the most high's word right here. Um hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him, all himself also so to walk even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you. It, it ain't nothing new he's saying. You know what I mean? They be like, oh, y'all found the Old Testament. That's old, that's old. He said it ain't no new thing. Ain't no new thing. Because the New Testament, all that is a, is a continuation. An unbroken continuation going all the way back since the time of creation. It's the recordings and the history and all the prophecies of Israel from the time the world was created all up until the time when Yahweh Shah was born and walked the earth. And it's an unbroken continuation of the continuity. What do you call that? Generations. You got, you got a scripture or something to figure out? Oh, he's still going, man. 
Yeah, yeah hold on. I was just trying to find something. Well, if he's looking for something, that was just going with what he's talking about. It just came to my mind. But, um, I guess people kill me. Then you guys, some assholes, they're like, the God of the Old Testament is Satan. It's not the same God as the New Testament. Where you can read the what he's reading in John, that, that clearly disproves that. What you got? I'll go ahead and read it. Romans 8 and 4, or 8 and 3. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for his sin condemned sin and the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. All right, because we don't, we don't walk after the flesh. You know what I'm saying? We walk after the spirit. But we all, a lot of people can't get that, man. A lot of people, they think, they think everything's about keeping the law. Like uh, Nathaniel 7 and them, they always talking about the law. We, we talk about the law too, but they make fun of us because we say you saved by your faith. Mm -hmm. Faith based. Those are yeah, they make fun, fat fun of you. Mm -hmm. You know, cause, because we ain't perfect. Ain't none of this is perfect, man. We all gonna fuck up. You gonna fuck up unwillingly. You gonna sin unwillingly. It's just gonna mm -hmm. happen. We sit. I'm sitting right now. I'm wear, like people always call us out on it too. They're like, you ain't yeah. wearing the same material, and they're right when they say that. They right when they say that. Wearing leather. Right. I got. I got uh, some. What's this shit? There's some shit made out of petroleum mixed with... I don't even know what this shit's made out oh, of. Oh, polyester. I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, you know? Polyester is like three different blends of yeah. different fabrics. Yeah, polyester is going off like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So... But through faith, we have to understand that we know that. Yeah, we, we know that. Faith, we don't, you know... We're gonna get, you're gonna get delivered by faith. That's right. Like... Uh, like the Bible says... A woman's only supposed to be with one man her whole life. And really, there's no exceptions to that rule. None. So when you get with a woman who's already had sex with somebody, you're breaking the law. And y'all, y'all's guilty of that, man. All y'all's guilty of that. Every, everybody, they're a very small percentage of you people out there. Uh, has, uh, very, very few of you women were virgins when you got to them. Very few. A lot of y'all got, uh, you're married to women who already had a, a kid before you got to her. You know what I'm saying? So you get, a lot of people guilty of that. That's right. That's so right. It, it, you, that's punishable by death. That's right. My dad, man, warned me about this bitch I got a kid with, man. He warned me because she got a kid already, a daughter already. Oh, yeah? And she was already, she was 16, 17 then. Yeah. And he was telling me, man, let's just leave that girl alone. But I'm paying for it to this day. Child support. Oh, man. You know, I'm paying for it right now for to this day. Yeah, they'll get you to. For not listening to my dad. Yeah, you listen to your dad. Yeah. You not listening. Oh, you should have honored that father. But you know what? My dad <laughs> was going through that. So he was telling me something he already knew. Yeah. But I didn't know that then that he already was going through that shit. Being young myself. But, you know, he should have sat down and talked to him. You know, Ben was specific. But that's all right, though. Through the spirit of me, I'm probably looking out for me anyway. Yeah. Um, let me look so back to seven. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye have had from the beginning. Old commandment from the beginning. Going all the way back to the book of Genesis. Going back to, oh, what was the first commandment? Back in the beginning. What did the Lord say? <laughs> He's in the garden of Eden. And they said, of all all the trees in the garden you may eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that was the, like the first commandment in the Bible. So you don't eat of that fruit. And that fruit represents, you know, all these wicked ideologies and philosophies, uh, the ways of the heathen. They wanted a big golden apple or a big silver apple? <laughs> oh, it was, yeah, it was an apple. Because <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the movies, they make the apple gold or silver. Not an ordinary apple. Yeah. Well, that's where the, uh, the Apple lo logo comes from, like the computers. Mm -hmm. the, uh, on the Macs, on the Macintosh. Don't the libraries use the Apple for something, too? Library? Yeah, they do use it. The library and... Oh, the, the teachers. The, yeah, the Columbus Public School symbol, the Apple. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, that's what I meant. That's what the uh, Department of Education. We already made videos on it and put it in the video. I would... Uh, just get on Google and type in Department of Education logo or symbol. Mm -hmm. 
and a crooked tree will pop up. It's a picture of a crooked tree, and that represents the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That's why it's the, the Department of Education, because the Department of Education is going to uh, teach you about the ways of the beast, to teach you to worship the beast. Mm. They're going to teach you, because uh, pu pu uh, public schools ain't nothing more than brainwashing and child molestation facilities. That's all they are, man. That's right. That's it. You ever notice that when some they still do it to this day in uh, kindergarten and around that young age they bring an apple to the school for yeah, the teacher. Yeah, they always bring it to the teacher. That yep. apple that represents that that forbidden fruit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? What spiritual that, shit going on? Because that's that fruit is a metaphor. You know what I'm saying for wickedness. Just like he's about to read it. Yeah. Oh, that's what the Christmas tree is. That goes back to the Christmas that tree. That tree. That tree. That tree. That Christmas tree represents the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And there's little bulbs on it representing that fruit. <laughs> so when you put that tree in your house, you're saying you love that fruit. That's right. But these people, they don't know, they don't have no clue what that tree represents. Mm -hmm. Never questioned it, never will question it. If you tell them the truth, they'll say you're crazy. So that's deeper than these fruit. Yeah, yeah, every, all, yeah there's, they don't just put a tree in your house for no reason. How come everybody does it? Right. <laughs> Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. The word that you have heard from the beginning. Don't eat that damn fruit. Keep going. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light now shineth. Right, this is light shining in the darkness right here. <laughs> we the light that shines in the darkness. Uh, we the children of light. Sands walking around glowing. We're in that one song, <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> that was my shit though. No, but like the scripture, what's that Matthew 5? It said if you got a candle, you don't hide it under a bush. You know what I'm saying? You got a candle, you're supposed to take it to the mountaintops. Mm -hmm. Everybody can see it. Yeah, well, that candles is word. I mean, some people go actually get a box of candles. They're so stupid. They'll go get a lamp. When they read the scripture, say that word is a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet. They'll actually go get a lamp and think that's what it's talking about—an actual <laughs> lamp. That's how stupid people are. Right, right. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. Yeah, and, your, and your brother is those who do the will of the Father. That's right. So you can't be having, if someone's in the truth with you, say you out there, you got a camp, you already in the truth, you watching our videos, you got someone in your camp and you just looking at him sideways and <laughs> shit. But, but if he's a demon, that's a different story. But if, you know, but if he's out there doing the work, you, you know what I'm saying? You can't be looking at people like that, man. But we know there's some, you got demons out there in your camp, so we know that. We've had a well. like the like Ephesians six and twelve is it when it's uh, you wrestle not against flesh and blood against principalities against oh spirits, yeah against spiritual weakness in high places yeah because sometimes you yeah the, the, the spirits are have y'all start fighting for mm -hmm. each other but that's them mm -hmm. spirits working they gotta They're be try, trying to get y'all fighting against each you other gotta be level yeah to battle back with them spirits man yep. you know that's some bad shit man personally I think it's entertaining <laughs> to me. <laughs> well, I don't really get, I don't have no problem with nobody's shit. You know what Unless I'm they start talking some shit. You, I mean, even if you do, I mean, it's better, you better sit down and talk about that shit. Yeah. Because that shit dwell on and escalate into oh, some yeah, other shit. Oh, yeah, you got to bring it out. You can't. I'm, I'm saying this from past shit, not from brothers, but just dealing with niggas in the first place. Just dealing with motherfucking people, man. But this is, this is a spiritual battle. Them demons are turning that shit valued up on you. Yeah, because you can't be out here either trying to, uh, trying to be a, a drill instructor, trying to rule over people like you some big badass. Like, I'm in charge, motherfuckers. You gonna do what I say. Cause you have some guys who make, if they got a camp, they'll make their dudes do push-ups, make them run. I seen Nathaniel Seven's people, they oh, was doing, mar oh. mar they was marching down the street and people was laughing at them. They look like a joke. They look foolish. They look stupid as yeah, hell, man. Yeah, yeah. And so that's why you got a lot of people out there, they just want to control people. They're like, uh, control freaks. And that's not loving your brother. Uh, yo, you ever watch Pastor Dow? You ever mm -hmm. watch Pastor Dow? Mm -hmm. That dude, he can tell he's just, that, that dude's uh, deceitful, man. 
he, he's a deceitful, uh, uh, evil cult leader, man. This dude, he's, he's got people living on a goddamn compound, like Jim Jones or some yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the straight way truth. And he over just ruling over people. He just wants to be the dark overlord of this, uh, this, uh, that's the, not the one that they're in the wilderness, is it? Well, that's that's Joe Fox. I'm talking about Joe, the black okay, But Joe okay. Fox is with him, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They in the wilderness. But Joe Fox, they team up together. <laughs> they actually, yeah, they, 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 they're not, as far as I know, I've seen no videos of him out here doing the work. <laughs> no, they on the they on the, some goddamn cop. Like Joe that's Fox is out in the wilderness. Shit. Joe Fox, that dude's hilarious. Yeah, I yeah. watch his videos and get a good laugh. Yeah. I mean, some of the shit they say is true. They bring out a lot of truth. They do teach some truth, but you can see, especially that, that pastor, he just want to rule over people. Mm -hmm. He just want to be the guy in charge. But you got a lot of people that's like that amongst us, you know what I'm saying? You, you see people out there, they just want to rule over people. They just want to be the guy in charge. You just about to lock up and blow the fuck up. What's that? What's that call? Go ahead, Mike. Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. I just got to bring that out just because right, um, you're supposed to love your brothers. You're not supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do evil against them, trying to control people like that. Go ahead. Plotting. Yeah, plotting on them. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth. Well, because guess, that darkness yeah. has blinded his yeah, eyes. Yeah, the darkness has blind your ass. Mm -hmm. Darkness. That happens a lot, man. Mm -hmm. That's why you see, you see uh you see people follow the truth left or right, man. Can't deal with it. You can't deal with it. The fucking police. I'll uh, keep going. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven. You for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the father oh yeah we overcome the wicked one that's why we out here doing this work man that's how you overcome the wicked one what's going on with this guy who knows look like somebody broke into eddie george their alarm probably went off stole a bottle of liquor no it's not even it's not even open is it who knows fucking devils not being devils yeah fuck the police how was it? They got in them Ferguson riots. Did they burn any sh more shit down anywhere? Yeah, man, there's a lot of shooting going on there that they're not reporting yet. Yeah, I bet so. You know, a lot of shooting going on. But I, but you see the church burnt down. You see the motherfucking nigga that was found in the car burnt the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, he got burnt. Yeah, to a crisp. Now who did that? <laughs> who did that? Yeah, who did that? Yeah, that's a good question. Who did that? <laughs> right. I mean, that's a very good question. So it's stirring up, man. This is stirring up. But you can only wish it would come to Columbus. No, oh, man. Man, this place is so goddamn asleep. Man, man. Oh, we're going to get blessed with it. We're going to get blessed with we it. We don't never get no riots in Columbus, man. It's just not fair. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of the Most High will fire than you and ye have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world. L uh, love not the world. This proves that you're like, well, Jesus is all love. But it says love not the world. The world is talking about these fools out here. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Yeah, so anybody is, is uh, anybody who's not even doing the will of the Father, that's, that's the world, man. You ain't supposed to love these fools. You got no love for him. Keep going. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yep, so you hanging out with two thirds. If you hanging out with two thirds, keep them company with two thirds, just chilling with them. It's, it's one thing if you're teaching them and you're trying to bring them in, you're fishing. But if you know someone's no damn good and you still kicking it with them, best friends with them, most high is gonna get you, man. He's gonna, he gonna fuck you up. Keep going. Uh, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Oh, that's what Christmas is all about, ain't it? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. Oh, tomorrow's Black Friday. 
Wait till you get on the, the internet. We get to watch all the uh, fat people run each other over at Walmart. Ooh, racing for those big screen TVs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People gonna get murdered tomorrow over a fucking TV and a, uh, a computer, a laptop, or a new toy, or whatever the hell is coming out. Xbox. All that Xbox. Oh, uh, not for no Xbox. That Xbox One is garbage. We play for the worst. Don't nobody want that Xbox One. It's at but food. Ain't nobody even buying that shit. Expensive shit. Well, no, nah, everybody's making fun of the Xbox One. They say it's garbage. But yeah, they they going no, because they got a PS4 deal with Grand Theft Auto 5 with it. That comes with it. Yeah, so the people can get killed for that. You know what I'm saying? They might get ran over, trampled on, they buy it, then they get out of the store, then somebody robs them for it. You know what I'm saying? We pray that. Yeah, we pray that happens, man. Yeah. That's right. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passed away in the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Abideth forever. So yeah, we're doing the will of the Most High. Is, you know saying? First and foremost is doing the work. We're going out in the streets teaching. You got to do that. If you don't do that, man, you, you ain't, you don't love the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're just a liar. You, you're just faking the funk. Yeah. You ain't got the balls and courage to go out and teach. Man, man fuck you, man. Mm -hmm. You going? Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. There's all kind of anti Oh, He's talking about Barack Obama. Mm. This is talking about Barack Obama right here. Mm. 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 Nah, cause, because people always try to say there's one Antichrist. There's this guy named the Antichrist. And he's going to come out to heavens. Right. And he's got superpowers. That's a bunch of nonsense, man. There's many Antichrists. Read that. What does that say? And as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists. There's many Antichrists. He said now, that's all the way back then. Mm -hmm. So according to the Bible, the Antichrists had already came. And there's plenty of them. They're all over the place. <laughs> I see an Antichrist everywhere I look. That's right. Whereby we know that it is the last time. Yeah, they say, well, the Antichrist is going to come back. He's going to build a third temple in Jerusalem. <laughs> Show me that in the scriptures. Show me in the scripture with the Antichrist come and build the third temple. That's probably in that new, uh, that new the, the homosexual the, King the, James version. Oh, it's in the left behind shit, I bet. Right. You know them left behind books? Look at your boy, what is this talking about? <laughs> What's oh, up? Oh, hell no, we summoned your ass up. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> we, we just summoned your ass up. What you mean, summoned my ass? What's up? What's up, boy? Oh, yeah? yeah? What's up? We got nobody out here. What you guys doing? Hey, the work still gotta be done. Huh? Oh, man. I wish I could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I, just, I, just, I just found some old footage of you uh, 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 today, and I, I, was, I was like, oh, they go old Leonard. Damn, like, we ain't no. see him, what, a year and a half? Yeah, man, two a year? years. Really? It's been a minute, boy. I thought you guys got arrested or something. Got arrested for what? I don't know, being out here. Being righteous? Yeah, here going, doing the spirit, going hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know we ain't gonna stop. But who's listening? Hey, everybody going by, whether they here or whether they full there. There's, there's people at the bus stop chilling for like a half hour. What's that? There's people at the bus stop was chilling for a half hour no, listening. For real? Well, yeah, this is know. going on the internet. All right. There's all kind of people. You know how we do it? You forget? Ain't you got internet yet? You yeah, still... I have it. Yet. Oh, oh. He, he finally escaped the nineties. Oh, no, I, I just sent my first text message today. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! What's <laughs> a laugh, ain't hey, it? Welcome to the modern world. Yeah, yeah right, know, right, man. right, 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 right. Let me get that Daniel. Let me get that Daniel real quick. <laughs> so, so, how you been, man? All right. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are out here. You know. You, you out of uh, You uh, having a good Thanksgiving dinner? No, I have food allergies. I can't even eat. He man. said, I got food allergies. You've been what? smoking some weed, though, ain't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm about to go back and smoke some now. Smoking that gun. <laughs> of course. Smoking that dank. That's some of that chronic. That's that dank. Yeah. Close enough. It ain't spinach. He has some spinach. You got some, you got some Bobby Brown? <laughs> yeah, close enough. <laughs> as long as it gets me high, it'll work. <laughs> He's crazy. Let me read this real quick. Hell no. Good this old is, Leonard, boy. Right, Daniel 12 and 4. 
But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. We in the end time, yeah. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Yeah, all kind of knowledge increased. That's why we got all this technology. Oh, yeah. You can't tell me the Bible ain't true. Huh? You can't tell me the Bible ain't yeah, true. Yeah, some of it's true, but you know, they, you know, I wouldn't listen to every you know, word. You know, you know Google plans on putting microchips in people's brains. Yeah. Soon you can send a text message just from thinking about it. Just text. <laughs> that's That'd what, be that's easier. what they're trying to do. It'd have been you typing would, in all those letters. Would you get it? Huh? Would you get the chip? No. Hell no. <laughs> you I mean, say that cell now. cell phone's bad enough. What about your boy Obama? This. Huh? So what do you think about your boy Obama? Yeah. Let him be. Have we seen each other since he won the re-election? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, we, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, that was, was just a, damn, a second. Yeah, that was two years, years ago. ago. Yeah, All right. Sure I think I saw y'all out here last summer. Yeah, it's been about, it's been a minute. It was yeah. last summer. It was right. last summer. <laughs> yeah. So you done gave up hope for America now, ain't you? You no longer trying to praying that America gets back on track? Well, being that I got, you know, young nephews, I hopefully it gets back on track. <laughs> But well, you know, they got to worry about hey, being it, shot. It kind of got off track down there in Ferguson, didn't it? Yeah. That shit's going to get worse and worse, like we've been telling you, son. Yeah. Man, he didn't have to shoot him 12 times. We know that. We it, know. We did, know. Didn't you know. see those giant bruises on his face? Come on. <laughs> Anybody could have done that. No, he didn't have, no, he had like no bruises. It was like a little red yeah, mark. Yeah, a little red mark. Yeah, that's it just wasn't a, even nothing. That's just something natural a white boy would have any fucking way. Yeah. Just from having no pig, no, uh, no uh, melanin, man. You could just slap him and get something like that. Hell, he can hey, blush he, and get that. Yeah, he probably you know? slapped himself. You know? Plus, I've never heard of anybody going to run at somebody who's shooting at him. That's just retarded. Yeah, that don't even sound right. It was six right. to ten. But you know what? This is me. supposed to he happen, like though. He was about to tackle me, so yeah, I shot him dead in his head. Huh? He said. What was that? He was like, he was six to ten feet away from me, and that's pretty close. And he bent down like he's about to tackle me, looked down at the barrel of my gun, and shot him right in his head. <laughs> that's what he said? That's, that's yeah. what you were joking? No, he said that word for word. Uh, word for word. I thought he said he was 35 feet away. No, he was 35 feet away. That's when he initially shot him, but he still came charging oh. after him. He shot a few shots at him. He was still coming after him, and shots didn't phase him. How many times did he shoot his ass? Six. One uh, bullet will slow somebody down. I God can't damn, see anybody fighting with a bullet. Someone in. shoots Dude, me six once, fucking I'm done. Eight foot saying. tall, <laughs> two hundred ninety. My brother pounds. was shot six times huh? and still escaped. Michael damn. Brown is six, like nine, two hundred. He's a shit. He's a demon. Boy, boy. Damn. He's a literally. He's a demon.